Insurance Only Mode. Good morning, everyone. Scott Earhart here with Insurance Agency Marketing Services. Thank you so very, very much for taking time out of your busy day to join us. We really do appreciate it. I think you're going to be really impressed with what you're going to see today. Uh, we are going to look at one of my favorite products in the industry, the Benefit 10 from Athene. In order to take a closer look at the uh, at the Benefit 10, we do have Mr. Robert Johnson from Athene with us. Rob, can you hear us? Absolutely. Can you hear me? We can hear you great. Thank you so much for your time, Rob. I know it's a busy, busy time at Athene. You guys are knocking it out of the park this year uh, with everything you guys are doing. So thank you for taking time to join us. We'll also have one of his counterparts, Mr. John Cravens, join us. I don't think John is quite on yet. Is he, Rob? Not yet. He's he, okay. he'll, he'll be logging on. He'll be logging on here in just a few. Absolutely. As soon as I see him jump on, I'll make sure to to point him out, let him say hi to everybody. But Rob and John are our internal team at Athene. They do a great job for us. They're a wealth of knowledge. I think you'll be really impressed with what they have to show you and the enhancements that Athene has made to the Benefit 10. Um, that being said, before I hand it over to the gentleman, I want to go through a couple of housekeeping items and a few introductory slides, and then we'll get into the meat and potatoes of today's presentation. First housekeeping item is our phone number. If you have any questions or if there is anything that we can be doing here at Insurance Agency Marketing Services to assist you in growing your business in the life and fixed annuity markets, please do not hesitate to give us a call at 800-255-5055. We would absolutely love to help you if we can. Second housekeeping item is uh, questions. I know there will be some questions throughout the presentation today. Uh, Rob and John and the entire culture at Athene is a very transparent culture. So please type in any questions in the questions box that you have uh, provided to you on your screen. At the end of the session, we'll do the best we can to answer them while we are live and in session. And the final housekeeping item is polling questions. Throughout the day, or throughout the presentation, I'm going to launch two to three polling questions. So if you would please take the time, they're just yes or no polls, to participate in those. We certainly appreciate everyone's participation. That being said, let's go ahead and look at a few introductory slides. Uh, for those of you who are new to us, or uh, if this is your first introduction to us here at Insurance Agency Marketing Services, you will be eligible for our new producer bonus. You, as you can see on the screen, there are three levels that you can qualify at, and it's based on production within your first 180 days of being licensed. At each level, you've got great options, cash rewards, business building tools, personal perks, so something we definitely want you to take advantage of, uh, kind of a fast start bonus that we certainly, certainly love to pay out. So if you have any questions, if you want more details on how it works, how the levels are calculated, or if you want to know where you stand, uh, certainly let me know. I can get all those questions answered for you uh, or get calculations for you. Our 2018 Top Producers Escape uh, qualification for this began July 1st of 2016. We'll run through December 31st of 2017. Two million trip credits get you on this trip. We will be going to uh, just north of Scottsdale, Arizona, the Boulders Resort and Spa, uh, consistently listed as one of the top resorts, top 10 resorts in America. Uh, I've been there numerous times. Beautiful, beautiful beautiful place fantastic accommodations if you're a golfer the golf is unrivaled if you just want to relax they've got really nice pools a world-class spa tennis facilities um, just an array of dining options uh, and of course if you've qualified for a top producer escape or know someone that has qualified for one of the IMS top producer escapes, you know that we do everything first class. Stephen Charles spare no expense when we do uh, when we do these trips. So certainly you will have a great great time. Uh, as of right now, we have calculations through the end of January for trip credits. I'm sure we'll have through the end of February here uh, sometime next week. Uh, so if you want to know where you stand, or if you want to talk about what we can do to help you get qualified, let us know. Really looking forward to this trip. I'm Creative. I want to make sure everyone is aware that we do have a creative team here in-house, Jen and Josh, and uh, soon to be, uh, we're going to expand that staff a little bit, I believe. So uh, make it even bigger. They do a great job uh, for our producers as far as branding, 
they can help you with uh, business building, uh, basic marketing, so brand building logos, business cards, letterheads, all the way up to creation and deployment of television advertising. Uh, so we can do pretty much anything that you need done here in-house. We can do it uh, probably more efficiently than a third-party vendor because that's what we're doing and you are our client. Uh, so we want to make sure we get it deployed to you as quickly as possible and uh, it will save you money and I can almost guarantee you, you will give away no quality on that. So if you'd like to learn about what the creative team can do to help you with your business, please give Jen or Josh a call right here in our office in Omaha, 800-255-5055. They'd love to chat with you. Part of what we do offer uh, through the creative team is newsletters. Uh, if you're not doing a newsletter uh, for your clients and prospects at least quarterly, I think you should. It's a great way to keep relevant information uh, in front of your clients. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And it's also a great way for you to keep your contact information in front of clients or prospects that haven't done business with you yet. We can help you with website deployment. We can help you with mail newsletters if you want to go in that route. Uh, but whatever you need from a newsletter standpoint, we can certainly help you with. Life and Annuity Academy. As I talk about our Life and Annuity Academy, I'm going to launch our first poll of the day, just asking you if you'd have interest in the Life and Annuity Academy. If you click yes as I talk about this, what's going to happen is you're going to receive an email uh, from us with a registration link if you'd like to apply to join us, as well as an overview for what we will be talking about at the Academy. How our academies work, at least our next Academy, which I should point out is May 17th, 18th, and 19th, and we will actually be partnering with Athene for this Academy and utilizing their home office in West Des Moines, Iowa, so we're excited about that. Uh, what we'll do is we'll fly in on a Wednesday, have an evening session, do a full, say, full day session Thursday, do a morning session on Friday, and get you out of Dodge. Hopefully have you home in time uh, for dinner Friday evening. Uh, it is all expenses paid, so we will pay for your flight, your hotel, uh, your meals while you are with us. Uh, what we do in those academies are we'll bring in internal staff, myself, Mark Raymakers, who is our life director, either Jen or Josh from the creative team will be there. Uh, normally someone from our new business team will be there. I will uh, present to you on annuities and we'll take a real in-depth look at income riders, placement of income riders, where they work, where they don't, how they compare to each other, um, how to ladder income riders, a lot of different uh, approaches when using riders. I'll also get into accumulation-based annuities, look at all the volatility indices that we have access to, how they stack up, where some may perform better than others, uh, blended concepts we'll go through. So a lot of great sales techniques with annuities. Mark does a great job in presenting to you from the life team. We'll take an in-depth look at wealth transfer using single premium life. We will also, um, He'll, he will get into multi-generational gifting, uh, overfunding of IUL for the tax-free retirement. Uh, we'll have a presentation on utilization of participating whole life or, or the, the infinite banking type concepts that are out there. Great presentations there. Uh, of course, you know, the creative team will be there to present. The uh, new business team will be there to chat with you a little bit about how we, uh, what we can do to support you from the back office end. Also, uh, one of the things that I find really unique about IMS is our ownership team and executive team. That is Steve Murray and Charles Hiring. They will be there. Uh, what's really unique about us is our, our owners, our private ownership, they, are, they have day-to-day -day control of the business. They are here with us. They want to know you. They want get to get to understand how your business functions and how we can better tailor your experience here at IMS. So you will have access to the decision makers as well, which I think is a really unique and valuable thing about doing business with us. Um, now, of course, we'll have a theme there, and I'll, I'll give Rob a chance to expand on what a theme will look at shortly. But I think the most valuable thing that we bring to the table at these academies is we'll bring in at least four of our sales coaches from around the country. Uh, and to be a sales coach with IMS, not only do you have to be able to talk the talk, but you also have to be able to walk the walk. So our sales coaches are all top producers in the industry. Um, they are the upper 1% 
of um, in earnings. They are, you know, top of the table type guys and gals, uh, multiple time top producer escape qualifiers. And what they're going to do is show you exactly what they do in their daily practices that makes them so successful and give you the ability to uh, take that information home and implement it in your own practice. So a lot of great things there. Before we move on and close down the poll, I'd be uh, amiss if I didn't give uh, Rob an opportunity to comment. Rob, any comments for us about the Academy? You know, Scott, you pretty much covered it all. I would say um, one thing, though, that I completely agree with is listening to you all top producers is huge. Because it's one thing to have a lot of knowledge. That's another thing to apply that knowledge to your practice. And when you have the application of knowledge like these guys, like some of you all's top producers, and, the, and, they're, and them willing to share that knowledge, it gives other agents the opportunity to really take that knowledge again and just continue the cycle of application to grow more and to have a better business practice to do more business and to, and to ultimately serve more people and make more money. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think it's really valuable. And Athene's been a great partner with us over the years. Uh, we've done at least two or three of these a year with them. Uh, we'll continue to try and partner with them in the future on these. So it's a very valuable relationship and they bring a lot of things to the table. Plus, their building is immaculate. So it's a great, uh, a lot of technology there that we get to utilize. Uh, makes the training a lot smoother. So thank you to Athene. Uh, we're going to go ahead and move on now. So if you haven't uh, participated in the poll, either yes or no, if you would please do so, we'd certainly appreciate that. All right, polls closed. Moving on. Thank you, everyone. Paperless contracting. One thing that I do want to uh, make sure everyone's aware of is we are on the Efficient Forms platform. So if you need to add a contract, if you want to uh, pick up a, a, a new contract, transfer a contract, we can do that for you paperlessly, which is really, really that subheadline there, save time, be more efficient, definitely uh, is a great, great thing. So that being said, uh, if you'd like to learn more about how the Efficient Forms platform works, feel free to give Chris Mount, our licensing director, a call. She's an absolute guru at it. She'd love to walk you through how it works. Our website, imsinc.com. If you haven't taken time to jump on to imsinc.com, I'd highly encourage you to. A lot of useful tools out there, recorded webinars, uh, form links, uh, quote tools, a lot of great things available for you there. We'd love to have you on imsinc.com. Imes Wealth Management. This is, uh, I'm not going to read through the entire slide there. Um, and as many of you probably saw from me, we will have a Department of Labor update uh, webinar a little later in the day today. I'd encourage you to join me for that. Uh, no matter what happens with the Department of Labor ruling, uh, there is one thing that is for sure. If you are considered to be a fiduciary, you will continue to be able to write business with qualified funds. That is absolutely going to happen. Now, one of the easiest ways to be considered a fiduciary, or I shouldn't say easiest, but one of the most efficient ways to become a fiduciary or considered a fiduciary and acting in the best interest of your client is to be an IAR, Investment Advisor Representative, uh, working through an RAI, Registered Investment Advisory. IMS Wealth Management is an RIA. Uh, we offer a very unique platform uh, for you. We are headed by Charles R. Hiring. Uh, he is a young man that is a wealth of knowledge in this industry. We're very lucky to have him. Very excited about the future of this endeavor. Uh, Steve and Charles, uh, this has been a priority for them over the last year, and it, we are seeing it come to fruition. Uh, if you are currently an IAR, uh, hold your 65. Uh, I, I definitely encourage you to take a look at what IMS Wealth has done. We've created this to be one of the most insurance friendly RIAs on the market. Our fees are going to be very, very low. Uh, we've got great outlets for you with errors and omissions insurance. And again, a very vast platform. So your clients will have the exact investment strategy that fits their risk tolerance. Um, that being said, we've got a great technology partner and back office partners as well. So what you've come to experience here at IMES, our submission to commission motto, where we're going to walk that those applications through. 
uh, for you and make sure you get paid correctly and as efficiently as possible and your client's policy does exactly what it is supposed to be doing, that is going to translate here too. A lot of great, great things for you. If you'd like to learn more about IMS Wealth Management, simply click yes. Uh, Charles is actually out of the office until Monday. He is meeting with our advisory council, council of top producers, uh, to talk with them about uh, moving the RA forward. So he will be back in Monday, and anyone that clicks yes on this will get a phone call from Charles uh, to talk about how he can help and how uh, the RIA may be of assistance uh, to you and to your business. That being said, I'm going to move on from this slide and close down the poll. So if you haven't taken the time to click yes or no, certainly would appreciate everyone's participation there. Thank you, everyone. Retirement Analyzer is a tool that we use uh, to and provide to our producers to really help you understand exactly where your clients sit, be able to show your clients in very plain language what their investment portfolio looks like or their retirement portfolio looks like, and how by doing business with you, it can really help them to obtain their goals uh, rather than the current scenario. Last slide that I've got before I hand it off to Rob and John. Uh, and all we're going to talk about here is putting money back into your pocket. So we're going to start on the right-hand side with marketing reimbursement. Uh, rough numbers on that for every $100,000 you place in indexed annuity premium with IMS, we're going to put $200 into your marketing reimbursement account. Uh, that account will grow um, on, an, on an unlimited basis. We don't cap your account. We don't make you cash it out at any certain time. Uh, you can use pretty much any vendor you'd like to use. Uh, for this, a great way for us to partner with you in growing your business. If you'd like to know how much is in your marketing reimbursement account, please uh, just shoot me an email or let me know. We can get that calculated for you. Left-hand side of your screen is the Referred Producer Program. Uh, rough numbers on Referred Producer Program are when you have a referral license with us, we're going to send you a $50 check just as a thank you for them picking up a license with IMS as that referral rights business we're going to give you a 20 basis point override on that business um, that override is all that it is it is an override we're not setting up a hierarchy so you don't have any responsibility to that producer um, we cut these checks at least quarterly Steve and Charles cut checks for thousands and thousands of dollars very very lucrative program if you know someone that you think could benefit from doing business with us here at IMS certainly we'd love the opportunity just let me know who they are how to contact them and I'll do the best I can to recruit them over uh, and get you on your way to earning some referred producer dollars that being said I'm gonna hand control over to Rob Rob you should have control now All right. Can you see my screen? Yep. Yep. I can see it. All right. All right. Well, Scott, I wanted to first of all say thank you um, for the opportunity to share some time with you all. Um, as we all know, time is definitely valuable. And so I appreciate this uh, opportunity and, of course, uh, to uh, step in to Mac's place because I know Mac uh, if he wasn't in Vegas with you guys, he would have probably uh, been here as well. So I appreciate this opportunity. With that being said, I wanted to just thank IMS once again uh, for their partnership with us. It is always a pleasure working working with these guys. One thing I can truly say is when I call and have a question or, or we're working something out, uh, Scott, you and your team, you guys are amazing to work with, and it's easy to get a hold of you all uh, for efficient work, and I appreciate that. When we're all working on something, uh, it's so easy to get a hold of you guys, and so that is something that the advisors should definitely know, uh, that you all will fight on their behalf and make sure that we are doing what we're supposed to do and that everything is flowing correctly. So I appreciate that, Scott. Thanks. With that being said, let's jump right into it. Uh, I want to thank you all, advisors, for taking time out of your day to spend a little time to learn more about an Athene product. This product is a, it's one of the original Athene products, uh, the Benefit 10. We've had this product for quite some time. When we acquired Aviva, we brought this product over uh, with us, and it's called the Benefit 10. 
this product has really been known in the marketplace, with, not necessarily for its rates, uh, but known for its benefits. With that, a lot of times when we look at the Benefit 10, there are a lot of different ways that you can go. Uh, in recent LIMRA studies, actually, uh, in a survey that we've seen, retirees have ranked healthcare, inflation, volatility, and longevity as their top four retirement concerns. With about 10,000 baby boomers that are turning 60 every single day, the industry should be asking themselves, what are the tools needed to solve these retirees' concerns and how can we address and, and answer their what if questions? You know, we have so much going on and that's why I like the Benefit 10 because it helps when it comes to different aspects of clients' lives, when it comes to different things, when life takes its course, and you're going to hear me refer to that statement uh, a lot during this presentation, when life takes its course. So what if life does take its course and Social Security is reduced or the client can no longer take care of themselves? Uh, if they become confined, if they live longer than expected, if they if they pass away then expect it, what is there for us or for you as an advisor to really take care of this client's needs? I'm glad you asked because what you have here is a comprehensive solution that could address all of these clients' needs in one product. That's why we like the Benefit 10. So looking at the Benefit 10 as a whole, you look at kind of two things. You have a fundamental competitive advantages when it comes to this product. If you're competing against other, other reps out there in the field and the client it, it definitely has a need, you have the solution. Number one, you can help them with flexibility among multiple benefits. You have a ton of benefits here that you can definitely win on against any other product in the industry. And also, you have a benefit base that is available to the client and also to their beneficiaries. You have an opportunity to elect a five-year five payout of our death benefit rider, which we're going to discuss. So the Benefit 10, this is a fixed index annuity coupled with a rider that will give your clients the options and tools necessary to meet their retirement concerns right up front. This feature will allow your clients truly, it's, I would say it's truly unique to the industry and allow your clients an opportunity to get one product that can cover multiple of their concerns. If they have a concern about living too long and they, they don't want to outlive, and they don't want to outlive their income, we can help them. We have five benefits in one. Uh, really, just taking a look at this one screen, you could see everything that this product offers. I know it seems like a lot, but if your client needs income, we have them. If they become, if they if they can't do two out of the six activities of daily living, we got them covered. If they become confined to a facility, Athene has them covered. If they become terminally ill, when life takes its course, if they end up uh, going into the hospital and the doctor gives them a, a really sad diagnosis, we have them covered. And even when the client passes away, we even protect their beneficiaries. So let's take a closer look at these benefits. At this time, I'm going to have John Craven step in and kind of go over our income rider. Thanks again for having me, guys. Uh, like Rob said, we we do appreciate the uh, the opportunity to partner up with Himes. But uh, so I'm I'm your product guy, and every call, and that's that's my role here. If you if you call the extension on our last slide here, you'll probably get me uh, for illustrations, marketing materials, and product info. I'm I'm probably your guy that you're going to talk to. So uh, the first benefit on this uh, this benefit 10 product is indeed the lifetime income withdrawal benefit. Uh, it provides a lifetime income withdrawal that your client can outlive and they also have three options on how they can take that income. We have a level option, 
an increasing option and an inflation adjusted option. So on this side we have all those compared side by side here. Uh, you see the level in the first column there. They are age banded, uh, groups of five there, so it is a step up every five years. The increasing payout option uh, is guaranteed to increase by 3% annually until the accumulated value is depleted. At that point it will remain level for the rest of the payout period. And the inflation adjusted payout now uh, is, is one that follows the CPI uh, increases on annual basis. It is the urban consumer price index. So whatever that urban consumer price index does for the year, your payout will increase by that the following year. Uh, it is guaranteed, however, not to increase over 10% or for longer than 30 years. Now, we do have an early lifetime withdrawal bonus. If your client were to trigger their income in years two through seven of their contract, we actually give them a bonus for doing so. That bonus is 5% and that is credited to the initial payout, which is just that payout percentage times the benefit base. So to look at how that works, we have $100,000 deposited into the benefit 10, growing at that 8% simple interest step up. So in the fifth year, we're going to trigger their income based upon 132,000. The payout at that age, which is gonna be 71, is gonna be 4.6% guaranteeing them a lifetime income withdrawal of $6,072. But now we have that bonus that we're on credit on top of that $6,072. So the amount they're actually guaranteed for the length of the contract is going to be $6,376. Uh, it may not seem like a huge bonus right there, but if you ask your client if they'll take an extra $300 a year, I don't know many of them that'll say no to that. So it's a, a, nice, a nice bonus that we work into the contract there for that lifetime income withdrawal. Uh, now I'm going to let Rob cover some of the other benefits. I don't know if you guys can tell, but he's uh, pretty passionate on this product, so he's going to jump into some of the other benefits and how they work. Thanks, John. So John covered the income portion of this product. Uh, remember, if your client takes income between two and seven years, they get an additional bonus to the income uh, that they're receiving, not, not the income base, but the actual payment in which they're receiving. Let's cover some other benefits. One of my favorites is, uh, as I said, you're going to hear me say this statement a lot, when life takes its course, uh, we have no control that if something wants to happen to one of your clients uh, and they cannot perform two out of the six ADLs, that they will indeed need more income to help sustain uh, kind of where they are and what they have going on in their life to maintain their lifestyle, to maintain their home, their, their, their expenses. We want to we wanna cover them on all angles. With that, we have the enhanced income benefit. So let's say your client is taking the, the income that John was just speaking of and something happens. After the fifth year of the contract, they can actually increase, we will increase the income that they're receiving by 50% for the life of the contract. Most times you'll see a little bit of an, in, a little bit of an increase, maybe five years or until, the con or until the contract value goes to zero, not in this case. If your client cannot perform two out of the six ADLs and they meet that requirement, we will increase their lifetime income by 50% for the life of the contract. They will be able to receive that payment forever. If they decided to do a joint payout, then it will increase by 25%. Taking a look at from the last example to this example, as you see, the client received that 5% bonus because they took it out uh, in year five. And so now, at that same time, a couple months later, they now meet the ADL requirement. We will then increase it by 50%, which then turns their income into $9,563. $9,563. A third benefit on here is the confinement benefit. If your client becomes confined 180 days out of 250 consecutive days in a qualified care facility, want to make sure we stress that, a qualified care facility. Now, the Benefit 10 is not, uh, is not a long-term care product. Uh, I, I, have to, I have to advise 
please do not try to sell this to, to, to your client as a long-term care alternative. This is an indexed annuity that has a benefit where that has a benefit for what can help solve a client's needs. We have the solution for whatever problem, for whatever problems that they may uh, adhere to as life takes its course. But the benefit with, with the confinement benefit, we will pay that out, the entire benefit base over a five-year period. For those of you who have a sheet of paper and a pen in front of you, if you do me a favor, I need you to draw a line down the center of that page in front of you. On the, le on the left-hand side, I want you to write accumulated value or cash value. On the right-hand side, I want you to write benefit base income side. This will, if you do this with your clients, this will really help your clients understand the difference of what's going on in this product compared to other products in the marketplace. Now, on the left-hand side, which is your cash side, you have your regular, uh, your S&P 500 annual point-to-point, -point, your monthly point-to-point, -point, and your fixed strategy. But every single thing that we're discussing in this webinar is happening on the right-hand side of that paper where we're talking about the income, we're talking about the enhanced with the two out of the six EDLs, and we're talking about the confinement benefit as well. So all of this is happening on the right-hand side of the paper. Let's continue to move on to these benefits. So confinement, let's say they become terminally ill. If they become terminally ill, then we have an opportunity, then they have an opportunity for two payouts. They can take that right-hand side of the paper, paper, the benefit base, over a five-year period or take a lump sum of whatever that value is. So if that value happens to be 100000 they can take 70% of that and then as a, as a lump sum. The contract must be enforced for at least one year. They must be at least 50, must be diagnosed after the contract has already been issued, and life expectancy is less than 12 months. Now, the rider terminates once this benefit base is done. So let's say they decided to take the, uh, you know, the, the lump sum because they've, they've been diagnosed with 12 months. They take the lump sum uh, at that point. The product is no longer. They have now taken their benefit of the product, and the product is no longer. Now to one of the best parts of this. Uh, one of the saddest moments in people's lives is when we lose loved ones. I lost my mother in 2014, one of the saddest moments. But I was glad because my mom actually helped us out as her children, as her beneficiaries, by having a product that paid us a death benefit to help pay for funeral expenses and to help us with anything else that may have come up. This product allows the beneficiaries to feel comfortable with whatever, with the decision that the parents have made to not only take care of themselves, but also to make sure that the beneficiaries are taken care of as well. So we have two options here with the death benefit. It can be paid over a five year period or again, we have the lump sum opportunity. But not only that, when you take a lump sum, within the lump sum opportunity, you can take the accumulated value or the minimum guarantee contract value. Whichever one is higher, I would probably go with myself, but if your client is really just needing the 70% lump sum, then go with that. But if the accumulated value is higher than the 70% lump sum, encourage them to take the accumulated value. So you see that the benefit base right here in, in this example is 132,000. So that's the right hand side of the paper. So right now, the accumulated value is 104,000. If they decided to take the 132, they'll get 26,400, get $26,400 for five years. They'll get the full 132000 over over a period of time. That sounds like a really great option because it stretches out the, the taxes that they'll have to pay on this. Now, they can take the 104000 
if they would like. They could take that as a lump sum because that is the accumulated value. Or they could take 70% of the benefit base, which is 92400 So we've talked about this product is accessible and the flexibility of this product. I mean, really the best part of this product is that it maintains the flexi its flexibility through all of life's changes and challenges. This means that the client does not have to choose between the income or confinement benefit. They can have access to all five of these benefits. These will be available to them as they need, as they qualify within this product. It gives your clients the flexibility that they are needing in this time. They can elect any one of these benefits. This product gives your clients the options and the tools that they need no matter what happens and no matter when life takes its course. So the benefit base, this is how it works. It's an 8% income rider, years 1 through 10, 5% from years 11 and, 11 and on. It is, remember, this is growing, this is the still the right-hand side of the paper, which for those of you who are writing this down, we are still on the right-hand side of the paper. Nothing has happened yet on the, on the left-hand side on the cash value. So at the age of 85, the income base stops. So the client can roll this thing up for as long as they want until age 85. If they're 50 when they purchase the product, they can go all the way to age 85. It rolls up at 8% for the first 10 years, 5% until age 85. There is no cap. We do not stop it. Uh, once it gets to a certain level, we continue to just let it grow until age 85 or when the client turns on income or one of these benefits are activated. Now let's switch gears here real quick. We have an opportunity here um, in this product to take withdrawals. So we've talked about all of the benefits that comes along with this. But there is an opportunity to take withdrawals. We will look at, at withdrawals and how they impact your benefit base. The benefit 10 operates very differently than many income riders and benefit base contracts that are currently in the market. Many benefit base, or I should call them income accounts, they decrease on a pro rata basis. That means that the benefit base is reduced by the percentage that the withdrawal reduces the accumulated value. So if you take $5,000 out, let's say you have $100,000, and let's say you have $100,000 in your, on your right-hand side of the paper and you have $80,000 on the left-hand side because the benefit base is growing faster than, than your cash value. If you take out $5,000, or 5%, you're decreasing both sides, when you say pro rata, you're decreasing both sides by that 5%. So 5% 5 of 100,000 is different than 5% of 80,000. So you are decreasing. I think benefit 10, this benefit base will decrease dollar for dollar of the lifetime income withdrawal amount. So the benefit base is reduced by the same dollar amount as the accumulated value with each withdrawal. It is important to note that the excess withdrawals will decrease the benefit base on a pro rata basis. So if you go over the withdrawal amount, it will then decrease pro rata. But if you stay safe and you play within the product parameters, it will decrease dollar for dollar. Additionally, Free partial withdrawals prior to turning on income withdrawals will reduce the benefit base pro on a pro rata basis. Now, RMDs will reduce the benefit base dollar for dollar. Let's take a look at, at, at a quick example here. You have pro rata reductions. And so in this scenario, we have an accumulated value of 130 the benefit base of 180, we're going to assume withdrawal of $9,000. The benefit base with the dollar-for-dollar dollar withdrawal is now 
71,000, 9,000 is 6.9 percent of the accumulated value or $12,462. The benefit base is decreased by $12,462 and is now $167,538. Now, the benefit base using pro rata reduction, it would have decreased 12,462 instead of 9,000. The difference that we do is you're keeping the $3,462, which is the difference between the 12,000 and the 9,000. This tells us that the contract that decreases on a pro rata basis will decrease by a larger dollar amount and will decrease to zero sooner than a dollar for dollar contract. Here's another, this pretty much reiterates exactly what, what we were just saying. So to answer the question, what does this mean to the client? Pro rata withdrawals will decrease the benefit base account by a larger dollar amount than dollar for dollar contracts. The benefit 10 gives the client an opportunity to take RMDs and only reduce their account dollar for dollar and still get the death benefit. This will lead to a, if they take it on a pro rata basis, that will lead to a faster decrease in the benefit base account, unlike dollar for dollar. This is one thing I absolutely love about this product. If you have a client that wants to leave a legacy but still have to take RMDs, they can turn on RMDs, it reduces dollar for dollar, they have the opportunity to still get that 8% growth on the benefit base. So just because they're taking their RMDs, the benefit base is still growing. So they could have taken over the course of 10 years almost, we could say almost thirty to $40,000 of RMDs but their benefit base has still grown by anywhere from thirty to forty thousand dollars as well so they could potentially have taken out so much that so much in so much in their principal that we could give them back their principal on a death benefit side from the benefit base so looking at this the benefit base or in, I would say income writers, um, that's usually income account, most people say, is a highly marketable number. Meaning, we may hear, we've grown your $100,000 to 200000 But what does that mean to the client? The 200000 is basically, I would say, it's, it's, it's a fathom account for income purposes only. It's, they really can't get that, get that money. The client cannot withdraw that amount in a lump sum, and neither can the beneficiaries. So, does the client ever receive the 200000 You can say maybe. If the client lives long enough, we tend to focus on the 200000 in this example and not on the total benefit of the client. We're, we want to make sure that we are covering the client in a total benefit type of way. So the total client benefit m measures totally everything of a benefit that is going to be paid to the client or the beneficiaries. It is the sum of the total income received and the total rider death benefit paid to the beneficiaries. This is what the Benefit 10 offers. We will offer them an opportunity to be covered on a all basis. That means from income, RMDs, terminal illness, confinement, and we will even cover their beneficiaries. Their beneficiaries will actually be able to get that benefit base or that income account value. 
and a lot of other competitors, that income base usually only pays out income. Once the client passes away, they'll get whatever is left in the accumulated value. When you look at our illustration, we show you the total client benefit, A plus B equals C. So we're looking at exactly what the client is going to get. I'm going to hand it back over to John and let John kind of walk you guys through because, like he said, when you call in, more than likely you're going to talk to him and he's going to be the ones running the illustrations. I'm going to let him kind of jump back in and talk about these illustrations. Yeah, as Rob said, we're, we're really big on the total client benefit, and that's why we really highlight here in our illustration software. So one of the big selling points I find with advisors when they're sitting down with the client on this product is that that middle column they're highlighting in green, you see the income being turned on at age 70 to 71 in that fifth year of the contract. So they're taking out the 63, 76 like we talked about before each year on a guarantee, guaranteed lifetime payout. So you see their, their death benefits dropping by that amount each year because that's what they're taking out in, in income. But if we get down there to age 85, where the red highlight is now, so you see that they've taken out almost their original premium back out of the contract in withdrawals. They've taken out $95,634 at that point, and they still have a $36,000 death benefit that can be passed on to their beneficiary over that five-year period. And if you look over two columns to the right, the lump sum death benefit, if the beneficiary uh, were to like that, still able to access a $25,000 death benefit. So they've taken out almost their entire original premium close to $100,000 at 95634 and they still have a death benefit uh, guaranteed to be left to their beneficiary. So that's a that's a powerful story when you're sending out their client to be able to insure them a lifetime income payment, the enhanced benefits if they were to go into a confined care facility or not be able to perform two of those six activities of daily living, and then the fact that they're still going to have a death benefit to pass on to their beneficiary. It's, it's it's just a great, powerful story that you can convey to your clients on why this is a good product to fit all of their retirement needs. Now, uh, all of these benefits are subject to state availability, so if you give me a call or give the guys over at IMS a call, they can let you know what is available in, in each state. Uh, the Benefit 10, for the most part, will issue up through age age 78 in, in most states. The minimum premium is $5,000. We do have a premium bonus on this product of 6% in most states. Uh, it is still 1% in California. They're kind of tough on us out there. The Benefit 10 Pro, which is a Florida-specific product, also has that 6% premium bonus. And the Benefit 10 Select, which will be some of those uh, some of those other states, uh, normally the 1010 compliant states, that bonus is at 4%. Uh, we got the withdrawal charge schedule below. Uh, then we also have a rider charge true up feature on this product. So if your index allocations don't perform well enough to make up the rider charge, which is 1.4%, we actually have a true up feature at the end of surrender charge period that will bring your client back to whole essentially. So the worst case scenario in their cash value is that they would have exactly what they put in to begin with because we are going to essentially refund them that charge at the end of the surrender charge period. And uh, our strategies there below, we have the fixed strategy, the S&P monthly cap, and then the annual point-to-point -point based upon the S&P 500 as well. An important reminder here is that before you can sell the Benefit 10, we do have the product training module that you'll have to complete on a Think Connect. So make sure we do complete that before taking an application. And I think Rob has a little bit more to add here, and, uh, and he'll bring it home. So thanks again, guys, for having me. Thanks, Sean. Uh, again, we, we thank you all for your time here uh, spending on this product. I want to just recap everything here for those of you all who are taking notes. The Benefit 10 is an all-inclusive product. This product is not a product uh, where your client is going to receive some tremendous accumulated growth. That's not why this product was designed. This product was designed to help your clients when it comes, when life takes its course and things happen and they need income to sustain their living, if they cannot do what they used to do and take care of themselves out of, with the two out of the six ADLs, if they become confined 
to a qualified care facility, if the doctor gives them a bad report and they have a terminal illness, or in the worst case, where they pass away, we still take care of their beneficiaries. So if you ever have a client who wants to make sure that they are taken care of and their children and their legacy is taken care of, the benefit 10 is where you want to take a look. If you have any questions, just like John said, give IMS a call. Give us a call here at the home office. We're more than happy to help. Again, John is more than likely the guy who you guys would talk to when you call in and you put in that extension. And again, we want to thank IMS for the opportunity to share this with you. Scott, I'll hand it back over to you. Fantastic. Thank you very much, gentlemen. What I'm going to do as we sign off here, uh, I'm going to launch our final polling question of the day, just asking you if you'd like to see contracting information from a theme. Uh, if you click yes, which I'd highly encourage you to do if you saw anything that you liked today, uh, or if you think the Benefit 10 might have a spot in your offering portfolio, uh, please click yes. We will email you out licensing, commission, and product information. Uh, you will receive that either tomorrow or Monday. Um, that being said, if there are any questions while we are uh, signing off, please uh, don't uh, hesitate to type those in. Um, we will certainly uh, certainly answer those. Uh, do want to reiterate what uh, John said. Uh, the training courses are available at AthenConnect.com. Uh, uh, for required training, and uh, please, please, uh, if you don't know how to get there uh, or if you're unsure if you've completed and are compliant to write business on the Benefit 10, call us here at IMS. Uh, let us check for you. Certainly don't ever want to return an app to a producer because uh, training wasn't completed. So uh, that being said, uh, Rob, I don't see any more questions in there, so it looks like you guys did a great job of covering uh, the ins and outs of the Benefit 10, and we really do appreciate it. Before right. we before we sign off, any parting words for the group, sir? i just encouraging them to, you know, give you guys a call over at IMS. You guys are great to work with. I, I appreciate uh, appreciate the kind words, um, and we we appreciate the partnership with Athene. Um, so thank you guys very very much, Rob. I'm sure we'll be talking soon to everyone that joined us on the webinar. Uh, today, I know asking for 50, 55 minutes out of your day is uh, a lot to ask for, uh, so we really do appreciate your time. Go out and have a great sales day, everyone, and I look forward to speaking with you all very, very soon. Thank you. Thanks again, Scott. Bye-bye.